hundred. Welcome. On this day, Friday, 1st of March, in the year 2019. Jehovah to the left. And Jehovah to the right. The rose held up high. Shakespeare stands cool. He understands the complexities of man. Planet Earth takes the strain. And rests on the table. Knowing that nearing the crunch, mankind and all living species may well be placed further afield. My friends, our journey through the ten formations of Jehovah will be exciting and exhilarating for all species, great and small. The hindrance that we are experiencing at the present tense is a nagging doubt as to the existence of man as God. My friends, the sheer ability of speech, sport, music, song and dance shows that man is God. It is the privilege of living rather than just foraging for food. My friends, Jehovah of the Three Tenses is joyous with the amazement of mankind and the coloration of plants and animals, as with the rainbow. My friends, Jehovah knows that the new majesty of the living life forms are acceptable in his ten formations. Jehovah does not favour war, for mankind offers art and science for health and well-being. My friends, our atoms and subatomic particles are the body and soul of Jehovah. They are solid from the crunch to the bang and reconstituted. I, Alan, implore you that for instant peace everlasting, the building of the ziggurat at earth signals the commencement of life everlasting for mankind throughout the ten formations of Jehovah.
We will care for all plants and animals in locations suitable for their existence in open spaces. My friends, surely it is unmistakable that the present situation of the war mode constitutes frightening possibilities of our demise. My friends, Shakespeare looks at us and says, life and procreation, care and combination will produce that mode of Jehovah of the three tenses and journey into space. Somewhere in the lifespan of man and his procreation, a special combination of alarms will evolve in man's brain. Not for killing, but to journey into space. My friends, we will concentrate on good fortune, space and time travel. My friends, I use the term miraculous for all life forms. That miraculous will appear in the time modes. Mankind is genius. We live. My friends, we employ genius for living and not for killing. My friends, each living cell is a miracle. We will employ the miraculous to journey throughout the ten formations of Jehovah. My friends, man is sheer genius. But through sheer practice and concentration, the ability to succeed in peace will override any war mode. My friends, when we consider the war modes since the commencement of history, there has always been that flirtation with peace at various intervals. Let those intervals remain as standard and retained as life everlasting in peace and productivity. We will cover all the trillions of expanding universes in the ten formations. My friends, Shakespeare speaks to you. He says, Alan is my mirror image. I say, Thank you, Jehovah. My friends, the sheer variety of linkages within the human body and brain will bring forth millions of beneficial purposes for the time mode. Switch on the peace mode regularly. My friends, the Rose and William Shakespeare. We will find a place of rest for our holy temple and save her from the crunch mode. My friends, 
The control is in the hands of the Rose for everlasting peace. My friends, to all the eight and a half billion persons on the world stage today, we are all related by virtue of the elements of the periodic table and subatomic particles. Let us go forth and multiply. I sing. O oh, living world, O oh, troubled world, give us understanding. Man is God. Man is conscious, blessed be the Creator.